Hey, this is Jay from Heavenly Harvest. I'm here to look at my row of cherry tomato plants. Also have some um, musculine mix here. The rest of it's upstairs in a window. But what I want to show you today are these. Let's see here. Oops, sorry about that. Are these uh, flowers? in here as well. Let's see. I think I have another with flowers on it. Here are some small flowers in here. Right there. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm growing these tomatoes in uh, this is a what's called Coco Coyer. Or the, the hair the hair type fibers on the outside of a coconut. I'm using this instead of soil. I like it a lot better. Um, I just uh, put my fertilizers in the watering solution, and the roots do very very well in this in this uh, cocoa coir mix. Um, these tomatoes, let's see, I didn't write a date on this one, I think these tomatoes are about, hmm, let's say about six weeks old, let's see, probably five weeks, five to six weeks old, um, I have two uh, red cherry tomato, I have four yellow pear shaped cherry tomatoes. This is a this is a pear shaped. This is a red. This is a red. That's a pear shape. That's a pear shape. And that's a pear shape down there. Let's see. This mix here. The mix there is a little different. That's coconut chips. Which I'm experimenting with that as well. But um, I should be doing some new videos soon. I just wanted to show you guys what I'm doing with my tomato plants. Hopefully I'll be shooting another video. Uh, maybe, as a matter of fact, today I'm going to do a video showing... Matter of fact, I'm going to do it right now. Let me pause this and get it done right now. It's time to water these plants anyway. I'm going to do a pH test. Give me just one second. I'll be right back. harvest and um, had a few people want wanted me to do a pH test see how to do a pH test so okay boy well, I guess before I'll say this um, you want to make sure that your pH uh, of your water which is your I think is potential for hydrogen or particles of hydrogen one or the other um, is between 5.8, 6.2, somewhere around in there, depending on your growing medium. Um, I like, just like we're about 6, I think it's safe to go with the 6. So here I have just a gallon of uh, regular tap water. Distilled water is best, but, you know, it's expensive, so I use tap water. I let the tap water sit out overnight for at least 48 hours. Uh, let the chlorine evaporate. I have like maybe 10 or 20 of these gallons. So keep I rotate them around, um, and to aerate them would be even better. But anyway, drinking uh, tap water usually kind of high and alkaline, 
for drinking purposes. So normally I'm gonna, I have to do a pH down, but I want to just test the raw water itself, just to show you. Um, let's see if you can see this. As you can see, these different colors here in this color band. Usually, tap water is up here in the green, but you want it in the middle in the yellow. Red is low. Like a pH of four is low, eight, eight and a half is high. You want around six. So let me test it. I'm expecting this to turn bluish green. Three drops. Sure enough, it's green. It's not as green as I thought it would be. But it is green. So I could that green tells me that it's about seven or six and a half. So I want to drop it down. I want it like a amber color, like maybe a light beer color. So I could what I need to do is go down. So I could use this acid base. Excuse me, acid to go down. Or I could use apple cider vinegar. I don't want to use apple cider vinegar. I don't have far to go, so I'm not going to use a lot, maybe about half a cap full. Now let's take a look. It's about amber. I'm gonna go like maybe one drop, just a drop. Looking for an amber color. That'll let me know that it's a. Uh, Is six the pH is six plants absorb nutrients more readily at a pH of somewhere around six just oh you know, that's perfect um, just like uh, I, I listened to infowars.com radio show and I heard a commercial that said that in human body the uh, Viruses, disease can to live in an alkaline environment. Um, so, you know, I, I test my own pH, and sometimes I find out that it's uh, that it's high in acid. So I try to balance it out with uh, like plum juice, things like that, to uh, get everything equal. Well, same. What I'm getting, what I'm getting to is same thing with plants. Um, if your pH is low or high. Since plants aren't ab absorbing the nutrients correctly, it would give you the, you may think, or it would give you the indication that you have a nutrient deficiency or toxicity when, actu and when in actuality your pH is just off. The plant will, like, if it, 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 to get an example, if your pH is high, um, your magnesium or, excuse me, if your pH is high, maybe nitrogen or phosphorus won't be uh, readily absorbed. So when you look at your plant, you have yellow leaves and you think that you have a, a nitrogen deficiency. So um, always do a pH test. Make sure that your pH is about six. This thing costs about maybe five or six dollars. You know, you can buy these if you want. Or you can use, instead of pH down, I use apple cider vinegar. And instead of pH up, well, use pH up. Because if I tell you to use just as you can, I know you're not happy.